people's checks coming in so they can pay their rent. And yeah. But when you mention the pandemic, Alexander, as, as well as Noel has mentioned it, let, let us not act like the, if the president had not acted uh, in January when he was warned, we may not be facing the numbers and the devastation that we're facing because of the pandemic. And as late as today, he's arguing uh, over Twitter with Dr. Fauci, who said that uh, we should have do, do done testing and doing more testing earlier. And he's uh, dealing with wrong. We have more cases because we've tested far more than any other country. 60 million. If we need tested, if we tested less, there would be less cases. How did Italy, France and Spain do? Now Europe sadly has flare ups. Most of our governors work hard and smart. We will come back strong. He's actually fighting when he says wrong with his own health experts, Alexander. Yeah, he's done that from the beginning. I mean, the scientific illiteracy has immobilized our country. It's made it impossible to comprehensively assault the medical crisis. Uh, you know, you in your prior segment, we're discussing the attorney general. If we had an actual attorney general in this country, he would be or she would be investigating and prosecuting the malfeasance, the negligence, the homicide, the mass murder. And it's gotten to a point with over 150,000 American souls gone that it's, it's not just inexcusable. It's genocidal. It's, it's mania. And, you know, I think that the Senate candidates that you referenced are going to be uh, campaigning for the health and well-being of their citizens. And life and death ought not be a partisan issue. Right. But we've discovered it is now. And, and it's debatable, Noel, uh, Noel uh, even.